It's a knockout in Manchester. Who will deliver the knockout punch in this final race? We know Great Britain and Australia have qualified for Russia tonight. But one big race to go now, Heat 23, last race of the night. Yep. It's been exciting. Denmark against France for a place in the world final of the Speedway of Nations. So, France in the red and blue, Denmark in the white and yellow helmet colours. So, a good start here for Madsen around the outside. Dimitri Berger has the lead, a three all remember will do it for Denmark. Here comes Madsen, be careful, Leon. <laughs> Don't, don't oh. knock anybody off, this is getting a little bit tight here. It is. Madsen has the lead, Berger second, Everson third. Denmark looking good now from here. Well, Leon Madsen fabulous down the back straight. Dive bombed uh, Dimitri Berger there and uh, fired himself to the front. Got the speed out in front. Lego coming on strong in third, but the France team, well, just not going to manage it here. They're going to need. Um, all sorts of drama to happen if they're going to progress. Leon Madsen were well, looking like he's going to finish in style here. Very fast down in front, going great gun. Leger in second place. But Leon Madsen, well, this is much more like it from him. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to see more of this in Poland next Saturday in the Grand Prix from Leon Madsen. It's a great night in the end for Denmark. They qualify for the Monstrad GFAM Speedway of Nations on what has been a terrific night of entertainment here in Bellevue, Manchester, some fantastic speedway, as always, every time we come here, it never disappoints, and it is Denmark, Australia, and Great Britain, the three nations most people thought would make it, yeah. but not without a scare or two along the way tonight. No, it's been a roller coaster ride, particularly for Denmark, with all the shenanigans early on in the night, and they're through to the finals.